Hi, it's Deacon Andrew. It's good to be with you all today. Our uh, devotion text comes from 1 Corinthians chapter 10. Let's hear God's word. Paul writes, All things are permitted, but not all things are beneficial. All things are permitted, but not all things build up. Do not seek your own advantage, but that of the other. So I wonder if at some point in your growing up, you had a trip maybe over to visit a relative, and maybe that relative cooked food that you were not particularly excited about eating. Uh, You may even have gotten that look from your mom or your dad uh, when you hesitated about eating the food uh, or a a little nudge under the table with a foot uh, to basically indicate you need to go ahead and eat it. Uh, Maybe you've traveled to other countries and you've gone to some place and people have set before you food that you really were not particularly uh, excited about or interested in or sure about uh, in those situations, but maybe you went ahead and ate it. Well, why do, why do we do that? Why do we, why do we eat things that we don't want to eat? Well, it could be out of respect. It could be out of politeness. It could be out of consideration. Uh, It could be out of trying to broaden our experiences. Uh, We probably had parents that had to encourage us to do this when we were young. And maybe we, as we got older and had kids and even grandkids of our own, uh, have had to do the same thing and try to encourage more open-mindedness. Maybe our experiences in traveling to different places and different parts of the country or even different parts of the world have taught us that there are a lot of ways of doing things like making and serving food that are not familiar to us and yet are still wonderful. And hopefully you've had some of those experiences where your, your palate, so to speak, has been expanded, uh, but also your appreciation and your respect for other people. That's really what Paul is getting at here, where he says, do not seek your own advantage, but that of the other. Uh, don't get stuck on your own ideas of what is good and bad, uh, right and wrong, especially when it comes to something as pretty basic but simple as food. Uh, Instead, consider other people. Consider those who prepared it. Consider those who serve it. Consider those for whom it is an expression of their identity. Uh, And so, Uh, Paul is encouraging the church in Corinth uh, to be open-minded and to be willing to be flexible in the way that they interact with one another and uh, and hopefully by that to grow in appreciation and respect for one another. I invite you to pray with me. God, you have created a beautiful and wonderful and diverse world. Uh, Our own experiences are limited in terms of what we uh, have seen and done, things that we have uh, gone, places we've gone, food we've eaten, uh, and yet you have created this beautiful diversity. Help us in this example of food to understand that uh, we need to sometimes set aside our own preferences, our own attitudes, our own judgments, and rather see things from the perspective of those who are sharing themselves with us. And so we pray, gracious God, uh, that our own conscience be set aside for the sake of our neighbor, that we may grow in respect and trust and appreciation for those things that are different, but yet are still good and wonderful gifts from you. Amen. And now receive this blessing. May God bless you and keep you. May God encourage you and guide you. May God equip you as you go out to shine the light of Christ in the world today and every day in faith. May you stretch and grow in appreciation for other people and share that goodness with those around you. Amen. God bless you.